Syracuse Orange, uh, of course, they're coming off a five and seven season and Doug Marone's fourth season at Syracuse. I'm Dan Harrelson alongside Nick Taylor. And let's talk uh, Syracuse football with play by play announcer Matt Park. How are you doing today, Matt? I'm good. How are you guys? Pretty yeah, well. I'm coming off this morning. Well, let's talk about your year number four for uh, Coach Marone. Uh, Coming off that five and seven season, uh, but some good wins last year. One that sticks out, of course, is that West Virginia game last year. What's the momentum after uh, spring drills and fall camp going on? What's the momentum for year number four? Well, the idea right now is to get some momentum because uh, they don't have any, or, or it's going in the wrong direction. They uh, couldn't have played better uh, in beating West Virginia in October last year. West Virginia was number eleven in the country and. And Syracuse outclassed them in, in every single way, a dominating win. And West Virginia would go on to finish the season strong and actually put up 70 in the, in the bowl game against Clemson. Uh, Syracuse didn't win a game the rest of the way. Uh, so had people thinking about another bowl and, and good things to, to come, and that uh, didn't happen. So uh, their momentum certainly at the end of the year wasn't good. And uh, now they're trying to uh, you know, approach this coming season and, and look forward and, and I think you know the team has, has put that behind it I and mean, they're trying to get on the field uh, as fast as possible and to uh, gel together with a new unit here there's some newcomers and uh, right now as everybody's doing a training camp you're trying to define leadership and that type of thing and, and see who's going to make an impact this year Well uh, my first question Matt has into the Atlantic Coast Conference, and it's mainly not only just that, but also how it affects how it affects recruiting and just the whole demographic of the whole entire athletic department. We all know about Syracuse's tradition in basketball. Well, just talk about that transition and how big of a role you think maybe their basketball program may have played into that transition. Well, I think we know that all these conference decisions are made for football, uh, not basketball. Uh, here, you know, with, with football being down as it has the last uh, 10 or so years, um, I would say the gap between football and basketball is more significant than it's probably ever been. And, you know, this is a, a place that's got a lot of football history, too, and has won a lot of games and sent people to the NFL and uh, has, you know, put forth some of the best players at their position um, in the history of college and pro football. Um, but, you know, basketball late has been one of the top handful of programs, and it's been one of the top, you know, 20 programs for the last 40 years. Um, so people here, when they think about switching conferences, I think the reaction basketball-wise was more significant here than it would be in other places. And so the initial reaction was, man, it's really going to stink to not have the Big East basketball tournament anymore. And that's true. That, you know, that will. <laughs> that's, that's a trade-off. That's something that you lose going forward. I think uh, overall, it's important to go into a conference where there's a great deal more stability than there was going to be in the Big East. Uh, the ACC um, is on much more solid footing. The financial implications are much better for member schools. Uh, so all of that is, is positive. Um, you know, as far as it relates to football, you're talking about raising the bar for a program that's trying to get back up there. And I, I think the program's headed in the right direction. But now it's you know, going to be in the same league as Florida State and Miami and, and Clemson and, and places like that where you know they've got it going in football. Um, and you know, a Big East football, and we can talk about the season to come, is wide open every year. Well, you know, there is no national, a uh, team of national relevance. Well, the ACC there is. You know, so you're dealing with uh, a different class there a little bit. And while the ACC still has a long way to go to get to the other leagues, uh, it's clearly a step above the Big East. Well, Matt, only uh, five home games this season. Uh, of course, your second game is against USC at the Meadowlands where the Giants and Jets play. Talk about that big uh, that big game. Of course, all the time you guys are zero and three against the Trojans. But talk about playing in that stadium. Yeah, well, it's important for Syracuse to have a presence uh, in New York City. It's uh, an initiative of the athletic director to to have games there and to continue to uh, build up and take advantage of uh, the university's very significant alumni base uh, in New York. And if anybody's ever been to a Syracuse basketball game at Madison Square Garden. It feels like a home game, and it's you know, on the biggest stage in the game. And the Orange went to a bowl, you know, after the 2010 uh, football season, and 